with its dimmed lights and wrought iron candle holders, beaded lampshades, and a repertoire of 1930s and 1940s jazz and blues on loop, Rick's Cafe has become a must-see attraction for tourists from all over the world wishing to experience the classic Hollywood Casablanca. Rick's Cafe is the scene of the romantic love story. Part of the power of the movie is that most of it takes place inside Rick's Cafe. There are very few other scenes that take place outside. And the drama unfolds there. And it's an intimate space. And they use light in very sophisticated ways. People are in dark. People are shrouded in light. And you're invited to make decisions about who's good and who's bad. It was in 2004 that a former American diplomat had the idea of recreating the nightclub in the Medina of Casablanca. I don't think when they, when they made it, they didn't set out to make propaganda. Uh, they meant to make sort of a, a wartime noir film with a compelling love story, uh, but its location uh, made it, ended up making it um, part of the war itself because so the film is finished in August 1942. Jack Warner, who's the head of Warner Brothers Studios, has a marketing problem because he, the Americans don't know where Casablanca is. I mean, the, the American familiarity with Morocco and North Africa is very limited. Well, Operation Torch kind of solved that problem for him because on the morning of November 8th, the American public woke up to reports that the Western Task Force, 33,000 American soldiers were coming ashore in French Morocco, and their goal was to seize Casablanca. Complete with cocktails and piano, the venue is modeled on Blaine's eponymous bar and became an instant hit with tourists when it opened its doors.